Wow, for the love of Nehru, this series is alive? Yep, it sure is. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is such an amazing game. With its story, side quests, characters, and overall gameplay. Within the game, there will come a time when you acquire the Zelda item of the gods. The bottle. It holds many different things for Link on his quest, from bugs, to potions, to fairies, to even fish. However, there is a glitch in this game called the Bottle Duplication Glitch. My name is Hylian Luke, and today we are going to be looking into the science of this glitch with our next episode of Mechanics Explained, the series where I explain how a mechanic, glitch, or exploit works in a game. I am also accompanied by my good N10 buddy, Radical. Radical will explain some stuff alongside me, and I'm happy he's here on today's episode. With that said, let's get started. Alright, the bottle duplication glitch is a pretty simple, yet effective glitch to use. Link can have up to four bottles normally in the vanilla Ocarina of Time game. However, through duplication glitching, we can have more than four. All we need is an empty bottle and an item in the game that can be caught by the bottle. A fish, fairy, or bug are all good examples. To start, just walk up to whatever you're going to catch. Make sure the bottle is equipped to left, down, or right C on your item's HUD, and then next, press the button the bottle is on, and then immediately press the start button. If done right, Link will be in a mid-swing animation with the bottle. That was the hard part of the glitch. Now, just equip any item over the bottle and then unpause the game. After unpausing, Link should finish catching the item in his bottle and voila! You've created a duplicated bottle. It's a little confusing at first, but it will make sense as to why this glitch even works in the first place. Now, let's talk what exactly is going on here when the glitch is performed. Let's take a look as to why this glitch even works in the first place. Inside Ocarina of Time's code, every item has an ID number called a hex value. Every item's hex value has four digits. However, all item IDs start with 00, zero making them unneeded for the explanation, so the last two values are the important digits. For example, the empty bottle has a value of 0014. But, we will say 14 for short since the 00 is not needed. We do need to know about this because the bottled items in Ocarina of Time are all considered separate items in the game. While the empty bottle has a value of 14, the red potion bottle has a value of 15, the green potion bottle has a value of 16, and so forth. Meaning, when Link collects a bug in his bottle, the game rewrites the item value of the empty bottle, 14, to the value of the bottled bug, 1D. This is what makes bottle duplication possible. When performing the bottle duplication glitch, when you pause the game and replace Link's empty bottle with, say, the hookshot, for example, the game rewrites the value of the hookshot, 0A, to the value of the bottled item. Pretty interesting, huh? Next up, it's good to know this vital information about the glitch. While your duplicated bottles are handy, there are a few cons to them. Since they're not real empty bottles, you cannot keep any items purchased from stores within the duplicated bottles. The only items you can keep in duplicated bottles are items you can catch with bottles. This means only fairies, bugs, blue fire, and fish can go in duplicated bottles because Link can catch all these things in his bottle without buying them at a store. In addition, fairies are more technical than the other five items listed. Let's just say for example that Link is battling some enemies, gets hurt, and then runs out of health. Link has a spare recovery fairy in his bottle and automatically revives him after running out of health, right? Well, fairies in duplicated bottles do not do this. If you want to use the fairies in duplicated bottles, you have to use them manually. 
Next up, it is important to know that certain duplicated bottles will be unusable as Young Link or Adult Link, as it depends which items you choose to replace with the empty bottle. In case you are unaware, in Ocarina of Time, Link has a vast range of weapons at his disposal that he collects during his adventure to thwart Ganondorf's rule over Hyrule. However, certain items, like the Megaton Hammer, can only be used by Adult Link, whereas other items, like the Deku Stick, can only be used by Young Link. This is why it is important to plan ahead for what items you'd like to replace with duplicated bottles. If you replace the magic beans with a duplicated bottle as Young Link, that magic beans duplicated bottle will only be usable as Young Link, and Adult Link will not be able to use that bottle because magic beans are a Young Link exclusive item, which makes the magic beans duplicated bottle a Young Link exclusive item. The more you know. Lastly, it's good to know where you should make duplicated bottles, right? You could just replace every item you have with bottles and have 24 bottles total with 4 real bottles and 20 duplicated bottles. However, that would be very foolish to do, as then you lose all of your one-time items like the fairy bow or the megaton hammer. This part is purely optional, but let me give you some advice on good spots to make duplicated bottles. First one would be to replace the Claim Check with a duplicated bottle. The Claim Check is an item Link receives from Biggeron. After waiting a couple days, Link shows the Claim Check to Biggeron and receives the Biggeron Sword because of it. However, once the Biggeron Sword is yours, the Claim Check becomes absolutely useless and wastes valuable space. Feel free to replace that with a duplicated bottle, giving Adult Link an extra bottle to use. Another slot to use would be the Magic Bean slot for Young Link. In Ocarina of Time, Link can purchase and plant a max of 10 Magic Beans around Hyrule. However, once all 10 beans have been planted, the Magic Beans item slot in your inventory once again just wastes space. Might as well make that new duplicated bottle for Young Link, right? Those are just some suggestions for you all. As a side note, it is good to know that certain items can be restored from being a duplicated bottle. Let's say you replace the Deku Nuts with a duplicated bottle. If Link collects a Deku Nut in the overworld or buys them at a store, the Deku Nuts will replace the duplicated bottle you made from those previous Deku Nuts you had before. Small, but good information to know. And that's a wrap. I'm so glad I finally finished this video as I've had this one planned for literal months and I've been way too lazy to do anything with it. I would like to give a huge shout out and thank you to Radical for being on this episode of Mechanics Explained. He is an amazing dude, so go check out his channel, which will be linked in the description below. Well, Luke, thank you so much for having me as the guest on your video discussing the bottle duplication glitch. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to come onto your channel, and for those of you watching, Luke is my boy, so make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. He's a fellow N10 member and my absolute gunner. Also, if you are into some gaming variety, especially Nintendo, feel free to check my channel out too. I go by Radical, do some streams and comedic videos, so your sub is always appreciated. Thank you for having me again, my guy. Stay radical and peace out. If you'd like, you can check out my Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon in the description below as well. If you want these kind of videos to continue, please be sure to check out my Patreon and pledge even $1 as it is what keeps the channel going. I also stream a lot of Zelda randomizers on this channel, as well as do game playthroughs, so if you enjoy those kind of things, be sure to follow me on Twitch or subscribe to me right here on YouTube. That is all the time I have for today, so once again, my name is Hylian Luke, and I will see you all next time. Ciao!